Is it time to rewrite the history of human exodus from Africa? According to a recent discovery, hominins departed Africa at least 500,000 years earlier than previously thought. According to current views, Africa was the home of all hominins before Homo erectus. Yet, there is evidence that this species began to spread out of Africa and into Western Asia before moving on to Eastern Asia and Indonesia nearly as soon as it first appeared in the fossil record. A little piece of a skull found in East Turkana, Kenya, which is thought to have originated in Africa, dates to roughly 1.9 million years ago. But Asia, where this species has endured for such a long time, Exciting fossil discoveries made in Manasai in Georgia, dating to between 1.8 and 1.85 million years ago, provide evidence for the presence of Homo erectus in Western Asia. A substantial stockpile of broken rocks was hidden beneath layers of mud in the Zarka Valley in northern Jordan. By examining these relics, archaeologists argue that these are simple tools made and discarded by early humans around 2.5 million years ago. If they are correct, we may need to reconsider which species of hominid left Africa's cradle first, and when. Homo erectus, an upright, long-legged species, has been widely accepted for decades as one of the first hominins, or species closely related to modern humans, to leave Africa. The Levant, an area on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean, is thought to have served as a natural corridor for this species' migration roughly two million years ago. The latest study, however, advocates for an exit much earlier. It suggests that some 500,000 years earlier, hominins capable of making tools may have been at Asia's doorstep. That assertion explains how a hominid species discovered in Indonesia, and a controversial collection of skulls discovered in Georgia underwent a strange evolution. It also contributes to a larger debate concerning which Homo species originated in Africa and which ones did not. A fluvial terrace, a tiered geological feature carved out by a river, was unearthed by researchers and measured 30 meters high. The water supply would have provided for a range of local fauna as well as perhaps humans. The Zaka Valley is strewn with artifacts. People have discovered more sophisticated tools like hand axes in lower, younger fluvial terraces together with fossils of mammoths and other extinct species. They discovered an ideal moment where geology was recording the paleo environment. Hominins have lived there for millions of years. A layer of dark volcanic basalt that was buried under the excavation site, and dated to about 2.5 million years ago provided the chronological foundation. Archaeologists dated the sediments where the tools were discovered above this base using three different techniques. The layers also contained the remains of a mammoth and an auroch, a prehistoric relative of cattle. Paleomagnetism is a method that the archaeologists used to measure the alignment of minerals with the Earth's magnetic poles as they regularly flipped. Then, to focus their search, the scientists employed two radioisotopic dating techniques, determining the age of the sediment layers by observing the decay of both potassium into argon and uranium into lead atoms. They discovered that the oldest tools had occupied their location in the geological record around 2.48 million years ago by triangulating all three techniques. Of that age, they assert, there can be no question. It's challenging to determine who manufactured the tools without fossil evidence, which is famously difficult to find in this tectonically active area. It seems improbable that H. Erectus produced the tools discovered in the Zarka Valley, because the earliest fossil evidence for this species dates from about 1.9 million years ago. Although they have some initial hypotheses, researchers are producing another study to discuss the ramifications of the findings. They speculate that Homo habilis, a prehistoric member of the human family that lived in the early Pleistocene, may have made the tools. Homo habilis, whose anatomy is better suited to swinging from trees than traveling on foot, has typically been believed by researchers to be incapable of making such a long migration out of Africa. But H. Habilis could unquestionably fashion stone tools. It is a wonderful discovery to come across such an old collection of artifacts, and the new study supports several existing theories in the area. For starters, for many years, scientists have debated the idea that hominins who lived before Homo erectus may have left Africa. 
another reason is because the findings are consistent with a developing pattern of early stone tool sites in China and Africa. In fact, 2.4 million year old stone tools recently discovered in Algeria, in northern Africa, indicate that dispersal into the Levant may have also occurred at this time. The age of other items discovered in China is roughly 2.1 million years. The discoveries are also advancing speculations about a different unidentified species of hominid. Scientists believe Homo floresiensis, who was found on the Indonesian island of Flores, may have existed between 60,000 and 100,000 years ago. This tiny hominid was only around three and a half feet tall and had quite large feet. Its cranium was about the size of a chimpanzee's. At first, researchers thought this hominin was either a pathologically little modern human or that Homo erectus had established on Flores, and shrunk due to a lack of resources and isolation. This assertion is supported by the discovery of extinct dwarf elephant species on the island. The theory that Homo floresiensis and Homo habilis shared a similar progenitor, however, is relatively recent. The new finding is consistent with this concept which postulates a pre-homo erectus migration out of Africa. The likelihood that some hominin species arose after leaving the African continent is also made possible by this earlier migration. The study also contributes to a broader debate in the field on the idea that Africa is the origin of all human species. Many scientists believe that Homo habilis, a pre-homo erectus hominid, may have moved to Asia and evolved into new species like Homo floresiensis or the similarly enigmatic Denisovans. The group cites the discovery of almost 1.8 million-year-old Homo habilis-like skulls in Georgia's Caucasus Mountains, as proof of this migration and subsequent evolution. Homo habilis originated in Africa and eventually strayed into Asia. What was that for? Develop into different species? reinforcing the notion that Asia was yet another important origin for humans. Archaeologists in India assert that they have discovered a prehistoric stone tool from 2.6 million years ago in northern India, suggesting that people may have left Africa half a million years earlier than currently believed. If prehistoric humans really existed at that time, it would indicate that they left Africa extremely early. The first proof of the human ancestry dates to Ethiopia 2.8 million years ago. This implies that in order to reach India, these hominins would have needed to rapidly expand their range. Some archaeologists are treating the claim cautiously, stating that the Stone's age is undetermined and that it is so simple that it may have acquired its shape without the assistance of humans. In the foothills of the Himalayas, northwest of India, close to the settlement of Maisal, archaeologists have been excavating sites. There are still there the silts and sediments from the marsh and river that formerly existed. They talked about some basic stone tools and a few bones that had marks on them that they said were produced by people using the tools. Such discoveries are not uncommon, but according to their estimates, the oldest discovery was 2.6 million years old. Other archaeologists had their doubts since it was difficult to determine the date of the remains because they had been discovered lying on the ground rather than buried beneath a layer of dirt. However, they later discovered a stone and speculated that it might be a stone tool within one of the datable bands of silt at the site. They dug it up, and as a result, they now believe it to be a chopper. According to the scientists, an ancient person peeled flakes off one side of the stone, creating an uneven cutting edge. According to the researchers, the most likely hypothesis is that a species of humans fled East Africa at least 2.6 million years ago. Nonetheless, Asia has historically received little attention and has recently come up with a number of surprises, so one should keep an open mind. It would be exceptional, and exceptional claims require exceptional evidence. Notably, there is mounting evidence that humans first appeared in Asia earlier than originally believed. Stone tools dating back 2.1 million years have now been found in China. Another site in China has been the location of stone artifacts and hominid remains that some claim date back 2.5 million years. Meanwhile, more proof that our predecessor Homo erectus may have evolved in Asia rather than Africa has been discovered, although the discoveries are proving to be just as contentious as earlier assertions of the same nature. The Longupo Cave located 20 kilometers south of the Yangtze River in south-central China, 
is where an ancient human fossil was discovered. Anthropologists from China, Canada, and the United States have revised the fossil's original meaning. Once believed to be from a member of the Homo erectus species, it is now believed to be from a prehistoric species that existed over two million years ago. A lot of theories about human evolution may be refuted by this. The majority of anthropologists think that an unidentified species of Australopithex, which lived in Africa around 5 million years ago, was the ancestor of modern humans. They contend that about 2.5 million years ago, the Homo lineage began to emerge in Africa. Homo habilis, one of its earliest members, was the first genuine toolmaker and had a larger brain than its ancestors. Later, some 2 million years ago, Homo erectus, with an even larger brain, appeared. According to the conventional wisdom, this species once more evolved in Africa before quickly expanding its range to other continents. In other words, for the majority of the crucial epochs of human evolution, Africa served as the world's cradle. Archaeologists have since claimed, however, that the teeth of the Chinese fossil, which consists of a premolar and a molar buried in a portion of jawbone, resemble those of Homo habilis. The fossil's age has also been determined for the first time, it is estimated to be 1.78 to 1.96 million years old. This dating was done using the electron spin resonance of animal teeth found in strata above the human jaw, and the signature of the Earth's magnetic field in deposits from the same stratum of the Longupo cave as the fossil. The second method makes use of the fact that radioactive elements in the surrounding sediments gradually excite electrons in buried teeth to higher energy. The recent redating of two human fossil sites in Java to 1.6 and 1.8 million years ago supports the researchers' claim that early humans lived in Asia around 2 million years ago. The Homo erectus fossils from Java may have been descended from African immigrants. Yet, assuming the researchers' identification of the Chinese specimen as Homo habilis is accurate, Homo erectus may have evolved in Asia. Yet, recent assertions that early humans lived in Asia are being met with opposition. Even some paleoanthropologists doubt that the specimen from Longupo Cave is human. They caution that the description of the discovery in the study could be taken to mean that a fossil ape is what we are actually dealing with. While the majority of specialists agree that the Chinese fossil is human, they disagree on the species to which it actually belongs. They claim that there is insufficient material to determine whether the fossil is of a habilis or an erectus.